Thank you. Mr. President, are you thinking of adding on a meeting with Xi Jinping on the back end or the front end? Yeah, the I'm thinking you? about it. How, how close, how close I mean, some of you were there yesterday. Uh, we had an incredible meeting yesterday with the, uh, the Vice Premier of China, a very powerful man, highly respected, very, uh, very strong, very respected also by the President, President Xi. And uh, we had an amazing meeting on trade, mostly on trade, actually also on fentanyl. Uh, China's agreed to criminalize <laughs> fentanyl. That's going to have a huge impact on fentanyl coming into the country. But we, there is a possibility we'll meet somewhere, whether it's there. I'm over in a certain location. I'll be over in a certain location there, as you know. So you might do a and that'll be announced officially probably next week. So, so you might do a it could happen. It could happen. Like for that summit, sir. Is that, is that a good guess? Gee, Dunang. Who does Dunang remind me of, huh? Certain, certain senator. It's a certain senator that said he was a war hero when he wasn't. He okay. never saw Dunang. Have you found them? Well, if we make the deal with China, you're talking about it'll be a different world for us. We lost $500 billion a year with China for many years. 500 billion, not million, 500 billion. We're not going to do that anymore. And our relationship with China is extraordinary. My relationship with the uh, President Xi is better, I guarantee, than any relationship of a president and a president. It's not even close. But it can't go on this way. We can't allow this to happen. And if you notice yesterday, and I think it was a big story, or it should have been, but China, as a sign of goodwill, has agreed to purchase a tremendous, massive amount of soybeans and other agricultural product. Our farmers this morning are very happy. I spoke to Sonny Perdue, Secretary of Agriculture. He called me this morning. Our farmers are extremely happy. Nancy Pelosi says you're risking a new arms race with Russia. What's your answer? Uh, honestly, I don't think she has a clue. I really don't. I don't think Nancy has a clue. And I see that when she says walls are immoral. She doesn't have uh, — she doesn't know. And, and I wish she did, because uh, she's hurting this country so badly. It's all rhetorical, not delivered well. But it's all rhetorical. She's hurting our country very, very badly, even with statements like that. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Go ahead, John. Pulling out of the INF, is this as much about the threat in the Western Pacific from China? Is it the emerging threat from China? No, the reason is, the reason is, first of all, you have to add countries, obviously. It's old. But very importantly, one side has not been adhering to it. We have, but one side hasn't. So unless they're going to adhere, we shouldn't be the only one. Uh, I hope that we're able to get everybody in a very big and beautiful room and do a new treaty that would be much better. But — because uh, certainly I would like to see that. But. You have to have everybody adhere to it. And you have a certain side that uh, almost pretends it doesn't exist, pretty much pretends it doesn't exist. So unless we're going to have something that we all agree to, we can't be put at the disadvantage of going by a treaty, limiting what we do when somebody else doesn't go by that treaty. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.